Here's a hypothetical question. We've dealt so far with elastic and inelastic collisions, and I would ask, is it possible ever for all of the kinetic energy to initially, which is initially present in a two-particle system, to be converted into other forms of energy in a completely inelastic collision? So we've seen where inelastic collisions in general don't conserve all the energy in the form of kinetic energy, but I'm wanting to know if it in fact is possible for them to get rid of all the kinetic energy. And the answer might be either yes for certain initial speeds, or yes provided the objects are soft enough, or no that this violates some fundamental law of physics, or have I said not even any of the right possible answers yet. Well, one possible uh, example where it is, for which it is possible to get rid of all the kinetic energy is something that's probably familiar. Uh, when you have two equal masses and two equal speeds but in opposite directions. This is like a head-on collision of two equal mass cars and so if P1 equals minus P2 what happens in our conservation of energy formula in this case um, the, two, the initial momentum is zero and since in the final momentum the two objects were supposed to stick together and have the same speed that can only happen with zero initial momentum if the final velocity is zero.